Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always, and I'm sorry I haven't had a video out to you guys, but I've, ha I've had a bit of a crazy week if I'm going to be honest with you. So last Thursday night, I'm just sitting at the house, uh, we ordered some pizza, I had one slice of pizza, not, not a big slice, just one normal slice of pizza and like three little strips of cheesy bread, and, and that was it. And about 10 minutes to 20 minutes later, this pain entered my body unlike anything I have ever felt in my entire life. And, and I truly, I can't emphasize this enough, literally take all the pain I've ever experienced, put it all into one little neat package, and it still doesn't even hold a candle to the amount of pain I felt in my upper torso right here. It literally felt like a demon had its like really long fucking like five inch claws, sharpest freaking razor blades, and it was just digging, trying to get its fucking way out of my stomach, and just couldn't find its way out. And for two hours, for two hours, it was like this, and it would go down no matter which way I sat or turned or laid or flipped myself around uh, it, it wouldn't get better there was no relief there was no easing it it, it was just it, it was terrifying it was awful it was painful I, I, I was I was scared to death to be honest with you I was absolutely terrified you know, when I watch movies and there's torture scenes and they're like pulling out people's fingernails and they're taking bamboo sticks and sticking it down through the fingernails or whatever crazy messed up torture device or whatever technique they use, I always think to myself, I, I could stand that. I, I could put up with that. I, I could be waterboarded and I wouldn't break. You're not going to break the gator. The gator can handle any form of torture. But I tell you what, if they could make this, this attack on my body, this pain that I was feeling, if they could make that artificially and just be able to like pull a trigger and make that happen, I would break within seconds. I was at a point where I was willing to do anything. I prayed to every God that I could think of, that I know of that's out there. I prayed to all of them because I just wanted it to end and it was so awful. And my poor wife who's been with me, uh, in September be 13 years she's been with me, she's never seen me like even really badly sick or anything at all. I've always been good to go. And she's sitting there watching me be completely just, I mean, I, I was there, I was, you know, naked in a way, you know, because I, 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 there's no bravery to it. There's no, I'm a tough guy. There's none of that. It was all gone. I was weak and I was terrified. I mean, at one point when I could finally get some words out, I looked at her and I just said, I'm scared because I was, I, I was scared. I didn't know what was happening. I, I had no clue. You know, people always say the phrase, uh, you know, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, but I always find that phrase kind of goofy because don't you want to wish the worst things that you can think of on your worst enemy? Because to me, this is exactly, exactly what I'd want my worst enemy to go through. This is exactly the thing I would wish to happen to them because it is so terrifying and painful and endless. I mean, two straight hours of this before it finally broke. It's just, I mean, it's insane. Luckily for me, many, many years ago, my wife had uh, gallbladder issues during her pregnancy. Uh, unlucky for her and she wasn't able to get it removed until after she gave birth and she would have these attacks these attacks that were so awful in this pain that she would feel and I would end up taking her to the hospital and she'd have to get an IV and some pain medication and it just got worse and worse and worse as time went on because she had to wait until after the pregnancy and like towards the end they were I mean they were some awful attacks and as she was watching me she, you know, it clicked in her head. She's like, oh my gosh, this reminds me so much of what I went, of what I went through, of what I did and all this stuff. And she was telling me, I think this is your gallbladder. I think this is what's going on. Which in my head, I couldn't really communicate with her because I mean, the pain, I was just like, there were points I almost passed out. There were points I almost puked. It was awful. But in my head, I was thinking, oh, okay, okay, I remember that. So this isn't, I'm not going to die. I'm not dying right now. I'm going to be okay. I'm gonna make it through this. This too shall pass. Uh, so I was able to at least mentally be like, okay, okay, at some point this will end, you know, I asked her, I was like, how long is this going to last, you know, kind of a thing, and she said, sometimes it'd be a couple of hours, which, of course, you know, my, my first attack, I'm going to fill up the whole fucking time. So the next couple of days, I'm unable to go number two, if you will, uh, so I, I'm getting very constipated, it's very awful, my stomach's just been in knots and killing me for days, Sunday rolls around, and I, I'm like doubled over, I can't take it anymore, so I take x lax and all that fun stuff, and then I spend the next freaking day and a half just shitting my brains out, because that's always a good time. 
uh, feeling absolutely awful again. Just god awful, never feeling right. Also, throughout all this time, I'm now terrified of everything I eat. I'm just absolutely terrified. I'm like, is this going to, is this going to make one of them attacks happen again? If I eat this apple, am I gonna die? Am I gonna feel that pain again? Because I'm telling you guys, when you experience it, you'll do anything not to experience it ever again. So I'm just in full panic mode. I'm in nausea mode. I'm in constipation, diarrhea, just everything's just gone to shit. No pun intended, but it's just fucking awful. And then I wake up this morning and fucking another attack. This one wasn't as bad. It was like 85% as bad as the last one. And it only lasted maybe 45 minutes. But I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. So my wife drove back and she drove me to the hospital, drove me to the ER so I could finally get this thing taken care of. So I'm only 30 years old. I'm still a young guy. Uh, obviously I'm not pregnant or anything like that. So this is kind of a rare thing to happen to someone like me to have gallbladder issues. But when you look up and see uh, you know, causes of this, one of the things is rapid weight loss, losing a lot of weight in a short period of time. And I've lost between 35 and 40 pounds in a matter of just like the last two or three months. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is what's done it, uh, you know, because that was one of the top things on the list of what causes this. And I don't really class, I don't really go under the category of a lot of those other ones. Uh, so I'm pretty sure at this point, going into the hospital, uh, seeing the doctor, they're going to come back, tell me it's gallbladder stones, uh, and that I'm going to, you know, probably have to have surgery and everything. Pretty confident on this, me and my wife, but you know, you have to go through the motions. Plus, I, would, I wanted a little bit of relief. So I'm sitting there and, uh, you know, they put the IV in, they draw a bunch of blood, the blood work all comes back negative, there's no cancer or anything like that, which was one of the things that it could possibly be rare, but possible, so it's good that that came back negative. Uh, then they take me for x-rays, they take me for the ultrasound, and then I'm just sitting there waiting, and then they come in and they tell me, yeah, you got gallbladder stones, uh, so you, this is definitely something we need to get taken care of. And they refer me to a surgeon, they pump me full of some drugs so I can feel better, uh, you know, for the next few hours or whatever and send me on my way. So as of, at this point, tomorrow, I have, I'm, uh, you know, a consultation with the surgeon, I'm gonna go see at 1.30, uh, talk to them, you know, more than likely what's gonna happen, they're gonna tell me, yes, you're gonna need some surgery, and then I'm gonna schedule the surgery. I have no idea when it will be, I have no idea how much time I'm going to miss uh, because of it, I have no clue. Uh, sorry, I haven't been making videos and I've been out. I've just been absolutely miserable. I don't even feel great now. Uh, my stomach, my stomach still, like it's, it's just nuts, it's just killing me, it's killing me. It's constantly working is what it feels like. It's like it's just constantly just like And it's just like when it's not some horrible pain, it's just a little bit of, you know, it's a lot of discomfort. Like right now it's just a lot of discomfort. Like it's been through the ringer and it has. So, uh, you know, hopefully this is something I get through pretty easily with no, you know, I, I, I from what I hear, it's a pretty routine surgery at this point, same day they send you home. Uh, just a few little incisions, uh, nothing too, not, not a too big of a deal. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see how it all goes. I will keep you guys updated. If you follow me on Twitter, that's going to be the easiest way to get quicker updates if you're, you know, really wanting to know because I'll be dropping some stuff on there, let you guys know tomorrow how the thing with the surgeon goes and everything because I don't know if I'll be able to make a video or not. I have no idea. I don't know what the next day is going to hold because here's the thing. Until I have the, the surgery, there's, you know, nothing's really going to change for me. Every time I eat something, I'm going to have the fear of having one of them attacks. Every time I, I do anything, I, you know, I wake up, I, I walk, I don't fucking know. I don't want it to happen again. It's awful. It's so terrifying. It's so, it's so just god awful and you just want it to end the whole entire time. So hopefully this all passes and we can get back to the fun videos and have a great old time with Gator the Legend. I could pop on, you know, the awesome shirt, some of the awesome shades and, uh, you know, get back to the classics. Uh, but until next time, hang in there, guys, because I'm not going anywhere. So I don't want you guys to freak out and think, where the hell's Gator? Did he quit? I'm on sub and don't, don't do that to me. That would just make it worse. Uh, but until next time, guys, I've been the Gator and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?